Fractional Flow Reserve, or FFR, is a technique for assessing the severity of a coronary artery stenosis in preparation for possible PCI of the lesion. FFR uses a pressure wire passed across the stenotic lesion and measures the mean pressure both proximal and distal to the stenosis during the entire cardiac cycle. As part of the procedure, the vasodilator adenosine is administered. However, adenosine is not well tolerated by all patients and can cause chest pain, shortness of breath, and other symptoms. The instantaneous wave-free ratio, or IFR, is a technique for assessing stenosis severity that does not require the use of adenosine. IFR is calculated during only one part of the cardiac cycle, in mid to late diastole. Two new trials, the IFR Sweetheart study and the Define Flare study, compare the efficacy and safety of IFR and FFR guided coronary revascularization. The IFR Sweetheart study, which was open label, randomized 2,037 patients with stable angina or acute coronary syndrome. The Define Flare study was a blinded trial that randomized 2,492 patients with coronary artery disease. In both trials, any artery with an angiographic stenosis of intermediate severity was evaluated for possible revascularization. Study investigators in both trials hypothesized that IFR would be non-inferior to FFR with respect to the primary endpoint, which was a composite of all-cause mortality, non-fatal myocardial infarction, and unplanned revascularization at one year. In the IFR Sweetheart study, the primary endpoint occurred in 6.7% of the IFR group and 6.1% of the FFR group. The 95% confidence interval for the risk difference fell within the pre-specified non-inferiority margin of 3.2%. In the Define Flare study, the primary endpoint occurred in 6.8% of the IFR group and 7.0% of the FFR group and the 95% confidence interval for the risk difference fell within the pre-specified non-inferiority margin of 3.4%. In both studies, significantly more patients in the FFR group than in the IFR group reported procedural symptoms, owing to the administration of adenosine. Both studies conclude that one year after percutaneous coronary intervention in patients with coronary disease, IFR-guided revascularization was non-inferior to FFR-guided revascularization with respect to adverse cardiac events. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.